You guys have requested it and we're going to make it happen. We're going to be testing the cheapest chainsaw chaps on Amazon. What do you think these cost, Brian? Uh, my guess originally was uh, 40 or $50. How about $34? Made in China, size large, comfortable water resistant, oil resistant, sleek design, pocketed lightweight chainsaw chaps. Would you, how much would it take for you to put these on your legs and drop a, uh, a saw on them? <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> Chinese, huh? It'd have to be something in it pretty good for me. I told Mrs. W that I was going to do that. Boy, they're very bright. We've certainly got a high visibility going on here, don't and we? And retro-reflective safety stripes as well. Boy, those are really, I almost feel like I need sunglasses on here. So I told Mrs. W I was going to strap these on uh, with my uh, Patagonia surf shorts and just, just, go, just go for it. And she said that she didn't think I should do that. So we're going to put them on a log. I'm going to put them on a log and we're going to do a full speed test on these. But uh, initial impression here, they're kind of thin. Step over here, Brian, tell me yeah. what, what, what you think. You're good. Sometimes you have to just feel the thing there. Well, how's that feel It'll to you? It'll help if I take my gloves off here. Let's see. They do have a pocket, which is nice. Oh yeah. Little thinner than the Pro Steel. Here, let me get that. Well, definitely a different fabric, not, not the quality of fabric yeah, the, the on it. The fabric is different and the, the backing feels a little bit slicker, but they're noticeably thinner. Hard, definitely, definitely cheaper hardware and all of that, but I, I mean, they're not as bad as I, as I thought. They're very bright. I like the coverage. You said you kind of like the, the longer ones? Uh, well, the ones I have right now are too short for me, and they come down. They don't cover to, your boot. They don't cover the boot, yeah. They come down to right above the top of the boot, which is too short. I want them to come down, you know, to middle of the foot or something like that. Okay, well, I say that for, uh, for the benefit of science, and those guys that are on a budget, let's try them out yeah. and see see what happens. I've never actually dropped a chainsaw on a pair of chaps before. Have you? No. Never. I mean, I've I've cut here a couple of times, but I never did get into the strap. So if you don't know, chainsaw chaps have, if I understand this correctly, have is it made a Kevlar or some sort of a really tough yep. fiber that run full length. Uh, that uh, basically what happens is is when the teeth cut into it and cut through this this cordura. Uh, it is it wads up all of those strings and then stalls the saw out. Yes. Is that? I mean, that's what I've seen. As far as I understand, yeah, that there's like a weave in between, like a really loose weave of Kevlar or maybe sometimes other materials. I'm not sure what. And that, yeah, it's just like you said, you know, when the saw gets in there, they immediately bind up in the sprocket and stop the saw. Hopefully before they get into the, the, the fleshy yeah. part of your leg. Okay, so let's, uh, let's strap these onto a log. We've, did we got a little piece of butcher paper? Oh yes, I forgot. Well, well actually, we could probably use that cardboard right there. We'll put some card, something a little bit uh, delicate underneath there, and then we'll see what happens. And then we'll pull the saw open and see. That might keep you busy for a while. Yeah. All right. I just want to note that there is a small pocket right there. Okay, There's so a we, slight damage to it. We do. That's good to point yeah. out. We do have a little little puncture, but the rest of it looks pretty good. So uh, we'll put that on here. So what was the nomenclature on there? It was something about um, this may not. How how did they word that? Uh, yeah, let's see here. Um, this oh. garment may not, and not is all caps, prevent penetration of the saw chain. So the idea is that uh, it may not, you know, fully protect your leg, but the, they say that the leg garment is designed to reduce the risk of severity of injury to body parts covered by the pads. Okay, so they've given themselves a bit of an out there. I believe that's probably true for all chaps as well, but you know, it certainly I, doesn't, doesn't fill me with confidence. It, it does not <laughs> feel, this is actually just the right size log here. Can you get, is there a strap on the bottom as well? Um, no, I've got this one attached here. Okay, you got it pulled tight. It might want to spin on us. Okay, that feels pretty. Yeah, that's that feels pretty. pretty good. So, our paper, so we'll drop it right there. That's that's right where the left leg. That's the most common place that all the saw injuries. Have you ever seen the the injury chart? I think so. Yeah, it's the the left hand and the left leg. Left hand and the left yeah. left leg. So we're we'll just drop yeah. it right there. Full speed, I suspect. Yeah, full speed. Full speed. 
Okay, anything else you want to add before we jump in here? No, I guess not. We've got them installed correctly. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so uh, to do our test, we're going to use the uh, MS260 here and have our proper safety. I, I decided to go with the full face shield here. No gloves, of course. All right. Full throttle, you said, huh? Oh, I mean, I wouldn't do it any other way. Are you ready? All right. Well, that, that seemed to work pretty good. Oh no, this is, this is not good. This is not good at all. I'm, right now I'm really happy I didn't try it on my leg. This is not, not at all good. Especially when you see sawdust chips on the outside of your, your chaps. Oh goodness, look at that, Brian. Ooh, that was not there before. That could be your leg. <laughs> that could be your leg. And here, let me zoom in on that. What happens with ch chainsaw wounds, like skill saw wounds, are the worst because they're big, gnarly teeth and they just reach in and grab tendons and muscle, and it's that's that's bad. I don't really think that the that the that China is too worried about American fallers uh, with these chaps, I'd have to say. Man, oh man. It didn't stop as quickly as I was expecting it to. Like when I, I, I dropped it down on there, I was expecting, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I thought it was gonna be faster, but there, it, it seemed like it kept spinning qu quite a while. Um, goodness. Well, you know what the thing to do would be to test them side by side by with another pair of chaps. With the pro model ones. Well, I'm not willing to do that. What is, what's a pro model set of chaps, 150 bucks? Oh, yeah, at least 100. Two, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, it would be interesting to see though. You think we should test a pro, a pro set of chaps? Oh, I think it wouldn't hurt. I mean, I think to be fair, you know. I'll tell you to, what, you guys give me 10,000 thumbs up on this video. Brian and I will go buy a pair of Promark steel pants and we'll do the same test. But that's, those are, that'd be, that'd be hard to do. Those are such nice chaps. But it, I, I think we almost have to do it just for to get to the, the to the truth, get to the bottom of it. Look at the liner. The liners all had it. That is, that is just that's uh, that's disappointing. I'd have to say. Are you surprised? Um, a little bit, but not entirely. Not entirely. So now let's uh let's take the saw in the shop and see what type of horrible damage we have <laughs> to deal with with that thing. Boy, did I, they show you all the, the furries yet? Yeah, let's let's see it from the uh, the clutch cover side. Yeah, so we have. Oh goodness. Well, it sure did make a mess of the saw. It did. It did stop it. That's gonna be that's gonna be an hour job right there. I'll bet. Huh. Okay. Well, let's take it. Let's go take it in the shop and pull this uh, clutch cover off and see what's going on in there. See what how it how it really did stop. All right, tear it up, Brian. You want to do the forensics? Sure, we'll take a look. We'll take the clutch cover off here and take a look and see what's going on there. You only have one bar nut on here. Yeah. They come off, it's easier to change your bars that way. It doesn't look like it's going to be that bad, actually. Yeah. Well, hopefully it won't be an hour. Do you want to... There's like a big ball of it right here on the end of the sprocket. It's like it wound up. And then, and then killed the engine. Yeah. It's twisting, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that's not as, I thought it was gonna be much worse than that. I mean, I've already almost got it done already here. A little bit of cutting, huh? I almost think that the, the matting is not robust enough or I, I don't know. 
I guess I, I just I had this idea that I was bulletproof with with the high quality chainsaw chaps, and I'm yeah. you know I'm starting to question whether that's the case or not. Um, well, I think it's certainly better than not wearing anything. No doubt, but uh, doesn't mean that you need to just uh, go crazy with a chainsaw, though, does it? No. Well, that's not bad at all. I thought that was going to be much worse. Yeah, that's, that. that's came right out. Pretty much all done right there. We just got a couple back in here. No harm done there. Yeah, I think the it would be informative to see um, the difference between this pair of chaps and you know, say, a set of steel or Husqvarna chaps. Or professional chaps. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the best is. I think. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Well, there you go. We got to the bottom of it. Don't, don't, uh, maybe, maybe the Chinese chaps are not the ones to buy, but we, we don't know. Maybe the, the pro ones don't, aren't any better. It's mm -hmm. hard, hard to say. Well, help us to help you. All right. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Well, it's a dance trip, trying to follow someone else's dream in the world that you know goes splitting at the seams. I love my little baby like I love my old machine. She left me for a feller that she hardly ever sees.